Tonight, it's the final league match of the season for Group A. It's Pot Limit Hold'em. Mathematically, everyone is still in contention for that top three place that will earn them a seat at the final table. But with such big personalities and so much at stake, it's sure to be heated and volatile. Feel the power. Luke Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. So fishy. All I have to do is win the heat and then I'm in. Well, they're about to do something I think is just stupid. And if the answer is yes, I'm not going to do it. Defeat is not an option. You're ganging up on me. They're ganging up on me. Idiots. You're criticizing my plan. How can you take it personally? You never want anything. It's starting. I can feel it. If you're there, you can make things happen. If you bust, it's, it's over. You know you have one team that you're better than me? I tell the truth. You're taller. It's all like Donkey Kong. I think you're a donk. I just wanted to get out of here. <laughs> I'll say, this is like my family. Let's have a look at the league standings after the first two games. It's Max Pescatori guaranteeing his seat at the final with 19 points. Dempsey on 16, almost certainly secure. Then it's a dogfight. Tony G with 8, Gene Eddy with 7, plus his double up card. Luke Schwartz on 6, and Jennifer Tilly with 3 points, but still her destiny in her own hands with the double up card to play. Two players are still left to use their double up card, giving them twice as many points for this match. And it's going to be crucial to the final league standings. And they are Jennifer Tilly and Matt Gianetti. Uh, Jennifer, first of all, it must be, it, it's really worked out for you waiting till the end to use your double up card. Well, yes. I My strategy was I didn't want to come in the last day drawing dead because I thought that would be too depressing. And I think it makes it very exciting because it's anybody's game. I mean, basically, anybody playing today can win. So. Everyone can still get through, but for a lot of people, it depends on Matt going out very quickly. So are you going to feel a little bit targeted? I mean, I basically have to come in the top two. And I mean, there's a couple of scenarios I come in third, but um, you know, if, if I stick around to the top two, I should be in good shape. It's going to be interesting one way or another. So at the dynamics at the table, good luck to both of you. Thank you. It's the final chance for our Group A players to accumulate points for the final table, so the pressure is on. Just as a reminder, it's Jennifer Tilly and Matt Gianetti using their double up cards. Players, good luck. This is the final heat for Group A in the Party Poker Premier League Poker Mixed Game Championship. Joined by Andrew Feldman, and it's pot limit hold'em, Andrew. But I mean, really, it, it's just more exciting with all the drama surrounding getting into the top three uh, to make the final table. Yeah, I mean, this—it's just such a fascinating dynamic that every uh, everyone's got a chance to make in the final. Only Max is guaranteed uh, a spot, and it's going to be really, really exciting. Now he's he's three bet yeah. Max Pescatori uh, button raise. Do you think this is just because Luke is saying to himself Max is raising like a hundred percent of his hands yeah, for the button here? Yeah, of course. But I don't particularly love this because Pescatori can afford to call here so often. But the thing is, Luke obviously feels he's extremely. Uh, I mean, see, like now Luke's going to bet this, uh, but he doesn't. Um, which, uh, is that pretty much him giving up? No, certainly not. Luke is definitely not done with this pot. Uh, but the thing is, Pescatori may bet, which he has, and he, he wins it. So, um, I didn't love Luke's 3-bet three, three pre-flop. Uh, I can understand why he doesn't want to bet into this flop, because, because it's so coordinated, and he feels Pescatori is going to call him with so many hands, and he just wants to save his chips for a better spot. Let's take a look at how to play discipline number three of the Mixed Game Championship, Hot Limit Hold'em. Each player receives two cards face down. These are known as hole cards. Action starts on the player to the left of the blinds. Each player has the option to either call to match the big blind, to raise, or to fold their hand. Once all players have acted, three community cards are dealt face up on the table. These are known as the flop. Another round of betting follows. Players can either check their hand, which means no bet, bet, raise a previous bet, or fold. Once the flop action is complete, another community card is dealt, the turn. Another round of betting follows, and the final community card, the river, is dealt. One more round of betting follows. Players are looking to make the best five card poker hand using their whole cards and the five shared community cards. They can use both, one, or neither of their whole cards to make the best hand. A hand can be won either by all other players folding to one player or by players showing down their cards and the best hand taking the pot. 
as its pot limit, there is a cap on the betting and you cannot commit your whole stack. Players can only bet or raise an amount equal to or less than the size of the current pot. Yeah. You bitched and moaned so much yesterday they awarded it to them. All you were doing was defending your play. What? Yeah. I haven't had a playable hand. That's my, that's my Italian that accent. So <laughs> right. yeah. Why you? You're, all, you're ganging up on they're me. They're ganging up on me. I'm not playing in the hand, but somehow they're ganging up on me. Look, not only yesterday you all played against me, but today now you're going to make fun of me because I actually oh, won. Just say good game. Mm -hmm. What strikes you as most as far as the standings go? You know, which which left right relationship is gonna gonna be most interesting? Um, I think it would definitely be the Pescatori Schwartz. Um, you know, because Luke knows what uh, Pescatori will be up to, and as we just see, Luke's prepared to three bet with uh, with with a pretty um, wide range. It, it it almost looks right now to me. I mean, or at least to the players, because he's played every hand. That Luke is just like just going for it flat out and gonna take all cheap flops the first yeah. level. Yeah, that's uh, exactly. Well, the that, thing that's what Gene Eddy just said to him. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Luke feels so confident when deep stacked. He, you know, he's got the most experience in these kind of formats, and um, you know. That's that's why he's decided to uh, to play a very very wide range of hands. Wow, I didn't really expect this from uh, Jennifer. That's a pretty strong, a good C bet. Yeah, it is. I mean, I thought thought she would um, would just give up. I mean. I think this relationship is going to be very interesting, the Giannetti Tilly, because uh, when you look at, at Tilly's fortunes, um, she almost always is going to get through uh, with a second and maybe sometimes a third, but mm. she has to finish better than Giannetti. Uh, at all times, she has to finish better than Giannetti uh, to get through. And uh, so, so she, she's going to be targeting in the same way Luke is, and she's on his left. Yeah, exactly, and she's just done exactly that. She's just double-barreled this card. I really do not like Giannetti's call with bottom pair, even though he was in front. It's just too hard of a hand to play down on later streets. I'm not going to count on the other people doing everything that I want. I just have to count on myself. I have great moral fiber, great courage, and tremendous poker skills, so I think I'm in a good place. Yeah, there's going to be a slightly odd dynamic today with everyone looking to ladder to certain positions and make sure certain people don't bust. That's what we're doing today, trying to realize who can't afford to knock out who and try and get in the middle of it. I have to perform. I have to get some casualties. I'm going to be most people's target, um, just because of the way the points are and stuff. I probably think I'm going to qualify. I mean, the only best player in the field and the heat, so all we'll I have to do is win the heat and then I'm in. If I could win today, I got 27 points, so that's a huge advantage to get into the final that way. Welcome back. Group A is in action for their final league match with the players being awarded points for where they finish. It's eight points for the win, six for the runner-up, and then three, two, one, and zero for the first player knocked out. After this match, it'll be the top three in each group that goes through to the final table. And now, back to the action. It's Matt Gianetti and Jennifer Tilly playing their double-up cards this evening. Remember, that means they'll get twice as many points for their placing. It also means their destiny is in their own hands. <laughs> Maybe it should do it. Right? And as we see now, Dempsey has a pretty strong holding, ace king. <laughs> and it, it, it's the only thing that's quite ironic. I mean, Dempsey has probably been sort of telling himself, look, just stay solid, don't do anything early. And of course, he gets a bunch of big hands early and is forced to play. Yep. This, this could really alter the dynamics. My prediction, or what do you think? If he misses this flop, do you think he might just, just knuckle it and, and not start trying to get busy against... Uh... Yeah, it, it a lot depends on the texture of this flop. And uh, like this kind of flop, um, he's got... I think he's going to check here. I don't know. Uh, it's, uh... Maybe he's just, is, is he kind of testing the waters yeah, as far as Tilly and, and G? Um, 
because the, it's very similar, I guess, to to Giannetti's spot against Dempsey in that early on they may feel they have nothing to lose, and the dynamics will only come in later. Um, mm. You know, where they, when they feel like uh, he he can kind of push them around. Yeah, and no, definitely. Oh, now this tu this turn will definitely be check check. I can't see uh, if Dempsey bets here, then I would. I'd be very shocked if he bets because this card's hit Jennifer's range so much more. Um, Jennifer could well have Queen Jack here, but if it, oh, that's a very that's a very very good bet by Dempsey. I oh, mean, I, it? I must admit that takes a lot of courage to bet on that turn. So uh, that is very. I'm very impressed there. He's made he's, he's made uh, an excellent fold and a very strong bet. So. Yeah, that's a, that's well, well played by Dempsey there. I have a plan, and my plan is not to do anything stupid. That's my that's a good plan. <laughs> my number one plan for today. When I'm about to do something, I think, is this stupid? And if the answer is yes, I'm not going to do it. Well, a poker game is always more fun for having Jennifer Tilly in it. I'm fighting an uphill battle. I have my work cut out for me, but I'm really glad I saved my double up card for last. I think strategy wise is probably the optimal play. And, um, you know, I'm really good at the sit and go format. Pot limit hold'em is my game. I cashed in the World Series in pot limit hold'em, and I'm feeling pretty good. And I think uh, also, too, I have more to lose than some of the other players. I think some of the ones who are already through, perhaps I'll take it easy. Hopefully, the cards will go my way. And if not, well, there's always next time. Oh, I shouldn't even say that. You should never ever say if I fail because failure is not an option. To quote Charlie Sheen, defeat is not an option. We looked at the standings before and we know that, you know, Gianetti, Tilly, and Tony, they're all the most worried about each other. You know, whether or not which one of those three go through. And when you look at it, G's got position. That could be huge, right? Yeah, of course. Luke has a pair of threes here. Dempsey with his 7 6 of spades may three bet. Probably just cool. In this table, I, I actually say, well, I wish I was there to eat because. Six, six call. It's an arrival. Four-way action, and okay. I mean, Bring three the of the players. Down. You know, when we talk about sort of the top two and the bottom four, uh, Andrew. So uh, you know, everyone kind of looking at each other. Well, they've all got. Uh, <laughs> Wow, Giannetti swapped trips again, and Jennifer swapped the flush draw. So this could play out quite interesting, because uh, I think Luke's going to bet here with his two should, pair. Should he be betting? Yeah, he should. He 100% should be betting here. Um, you know, you you know, you've got you have to bet here on a paired flop. You know? and, and for Giannetti overall, I mean, what's the best way to play this? He he knows that. Uh, Luke is a guy he has to uh, probably raise with Giannetti's hand um, just to hope that Luke's got a jack or an over pair and, build the pot. and you're out of position as well like how do you play a lot of turns oh wow if uh, Jennifer raises here which she could do this uh, I would imagine Giannetti is gonna jam um, I mean this is a reasonable spot for Jennifer to raise yeah, right? it, she can really it looks yeah. like Giannetti's got a jack doesn't it yeah exactly and she could easily have a four here uh, I don't hate this raise one bit is, um, she, is she gonna have to shove uh, no nah, I mean if if, if, if Gina it depends what Giannetti does here uh, obviously how, how confident is Giannetti he's got the best hand it, right now? He's, he, you can never be 100% confident because at the end of the day, all Giannetti can beat here is a bluff or a flush draw. There's there's no other hands you can beat here. There's a chance she can have ace-4, four, king-4 four suited, queen-4 suited, uh, but there's no way he's going to fold this race. It's just how aggressively he plays this. Um, there's obviously there's now you know with him calling there's going to be 150,000 in the pot, uh, and he's got 260,000. And I mean, could Tilly say to herself, if Giannetti raises it, could Tilly say, look, I gotta beat this guy anyway. Let's take nah, let's take it on. No, nah, no, nah, she's she's if if she, uh, yeah, he's just called here because they're, they're too deep. He's got 
He's got 260,000. Wow. And the problem is now is he's out of position and Jennifer's only going to bet if she hits. So, and she's hit it immediately. She's hit the flush. Oh my gosh. Does Ginelli have to be prepared to fold here? Yeah. Now, this is a card which he's... N I mean, it's the worst card. You can't ask for a worse card. You, all he can beat now is like a 9-10, a 9-8 nine, nine, hand. Well, he, his, his kicker is splitting against a lot of fours now, right? Yeah. That, that, you shouldn't think about that. Well... Yeah, I mean, it, it, obviously, if she's got king four or queen four, but to be honest, I think Jennifer okay. even checks a turn with with that kind of hand because um, Giannetti could be the one with the flush draw, and and she probably she doesn't want to bet call off here um, with a four, so she's bet eighty thousand, and he he really has to fold now. Like it's horrible. But this is what happens when you, um, you you slow play on the flop. I mean, admittedly, he did have a tricky decision, but you now have to just let it go. It's and Giannetti, he's looking at this. He knows that Tilly needs to be aggressive against him. Is it in the back of his mind that she could just be airballing him? Uh, yeah. Of course, that's always going to play on the back of your mind. But I just can't. He's got I three just, fours. This is an Omaha. This is Hold'em. And, you know, he hates it. You can see he absolutely hates it. You know, like, he can, he could call here and then just fold um, if he doesn't pair up on the river, uh, which he has. So this is a monster, monster pot. He needs uh, an ace. He needs a jack. He'd ro love to have a deuce, deuce yeah. or a four. Yep. He's, he's, got, he's got a fair amount of outs. And Jennifer's just praying for the board not to pair, which it has. And Giannetti is, go is going to go check, check. And Giannetti is going to be the o o overwhelming chip reader. Unless Jennifer turns her hand into a bluff, which she's not going to. And Giannetti gets very lucky on the river. And ah, Jennifer will be Destructive as a river. Yep. Tilly has had in the No Limit Hold'em now. Yep. And here she's had a series of mm. bad river cards. Yep. She had him locked yep. up, strangled, there. stuffed. Mm. That hurts. And this was the yep. guy, if she wins that pot, look at the, the difference. Yep. I mean, you know, she, the, the, the man she has to, to outlast to go through with her double up card. Yep. The tables are now turned. She's in sixth position, and Giannetti looking very strong to go through. Just dump it all in there. What? No, it's the worst. We're still on level one here. She can, you know, she, she's strong enough to turn this around. She's got a lot of experience, and I certainly wouldn't write Jennifer out just yet. Uh, Andrew, not only Jennifer Tilly, the table moans. Giannetti doing well makes it so tough for Tony G. <laughs> It makes and it Luke, tougher and for Luke. Luke. Yeah. He's certainly not happy with that outcome. <laughs> He's so yeah, they so were all rooting for Tilly there. Yeah. The deal is out of control. <laughs> it's your fault. First and last time. Go back to Scotland. <laughs> First and last well, time. I mean, I, I, I drive you back there. She's called on the button with eight the for a spade. Luke's open with Jack the five off. <laughs> Well, three absolute garbage hands, and I, Luke's gone in front. Uh, but <laughs> Jennifer has blocked through, huge. Present yourself. She's blocked. She's blocked uh, the straight draw, flush draw, um, and indeed an overcard to Luke's pair of fives, which makes uh, the uh, She's from Wales. the favourite. Uh, Matt. <laughs> Max has to fold here with a pair of twos, and Luke could call if he wants. Um, so, a, which he a, does. a big indication right now that uh, both Schwartz and Tilly are just like, I'm going to play any hand, any two cards. Yeah. Let's go. And uh, with Luke checking there, is he checked to give it up? No, certainly not. Wow. I, wow. So, uh, this is tough for Luke. This is really, uh, this is tough. I mean, well, what should Luke be thinking about? I mean, Jennifer obviously a little hot to trot, but she did have to have something to call on the exactly, flop with, right? Yeah. I mean, all he can beat is a flush draw here. There's nothing else he can beat. Um, and what about the, the jack kicker? I mean, you know, how often does she have a hand like a five with never, a lower kicker? Never. She never has a five hit. She either has an ace or a flush draw. Um, and um, Tilly gets it through. The other um, yeah, the problem with Luke's hand is even if um, even if he calls there, he's gonna probably be faced with a fifty thousand chip bet on the river. Jennifer Tilly applying pressure yeah. when needed. Uh, she's definitely not here. To, she's here to go for it and make the final. She's calling a race. 
It's very much four players playing for one spot. It's not, there are some permutations that could see it being different, but it looks like that, and Giannetti's in pole position. percent of Luke for a million quid. Because it's Giannetti's big blind, Andrew, you can, and when it's Luke's button, it's Giannetti's big blind, Luke has to basically play 100% of his buttons. I mean, yeah. that's just the way it's going to be. Pretty much. That's a hundred, yeah, that's right. And he's got position, so correctly, he raises here with the King-8, and in fact, he has Giannetti crushed with the 9-8, the so... So, I mean, one thing, when we were talking about the different seating dynamics, I think for a lot of reasons, we're going to see Schwartz v. Giannetti all night long. You would imagine so, yeah. You, you would have, again, Giannetti's uh, outflop his opponent here with a pair and a draw. Um, and Luke, is he's checked back, it's gone checked check, behind. Check. I'd have liked Jim to have bet here, but I don't think Giannetti was, was folded for one bet. And wow, that's now, that finally, we ha he has a caller here, um, Giannetti, who turns a straight, Luke turns a bigger straight, and he will at least be getting one, one street of value here. Possibly two streets, but I mean, call call with Giannetti's stack is a, is a pretty reasonable line for him to take, right? Yeah. Do you think I, he can get away from this on the river? I uh, he could, and he probably should, but I don't think I, I don't know. This is very close whether he's going to call on the river. It's very close. I'd imagine Luke's going to bet around about twenty-five to thirty thousand, and Giannetti will. I don't know. I, I really don't know what he will do here. It's not, he just can't be any. He can't be anything. He can't be anything. He just, He's got a straight. He can't. Well, he can't be anything for value. I mean, just like, I mean, Luke isn't betting here with the set. Um, he's not. Yeah, he's he's. You know, there's what hands can he beat here? Like, just a side type hands, which I don't think Luke's gonna bet. To be honest, I think Luke will just shut down. Like Luke has it just has a king here so often. Um, unless he feels like we've said that Luke's trying to push him around because he knows that he can't be just giving Giannetti 40,000 chips where where Giannetti's hand looks quite face up to what it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, Giannetti might be thinking, well, Luke has to bluff here because he has to take chips away from yeah, me. Or he could anything. be thinking, as you're saying, he'll never bluff. He's really giving it some thought. Mm. Um, the thing is, Giannetti. Yeah, wow. Giannetti makes a good it's a, fold there. It's a great pass. Um, yeah, he, yeah. I mean, because he knows that Giannetti's hand could well be a king there. It just it decreases the chances of him bluffing, and Giannetti That's makes a, a decent like fold. So that will certainly be. Um, a Luke will be Luke very happy sure. with that result. Or well, whoever won the pot, they say his name. Welcome, Luke Johnny. Sure. Tan. <laughs> the Probably the most tilting thing well, in the world. Well, Phil's still posting bubblegum. He's trying to get no, you to No, I mean, just when anyone gum. wins a pot, yeah, they, yeah. Say, they say his name loudly and douchey. Well, if it's salty, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> From now on. <laughs> Luke Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. I, one thing yeah. that's... Yeah. When we looked at, that's at that's the, the, yeah. this yeah. mixed game championship... Johnny Chan, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Chan. The atmosphere in this group A has become quite clubby. I mean, Pescatori is a little bit on the outside. <laughs> but maybe he should be because he's the, the points leader. The rest of them are all quite Bonsuch. having fun. Six, three, race, four, call. That would be cool if we start an exchange for people. You could buy in early, Mike. You just own 10% or 30%, 80%. Own, own shares of somebody. Don't yeah. even need to look at my cards. You get all the organs and things go wrong, gone. you know. <laughs> yeah. Escatori makes a, a very, very loose open with the 8 3 of clubs. Luke peels in position with a 10-7 of clubs. I've just got this feeling that Pescatori is kind of saying, Hey guys, look at me. When I raise, you're supposed to fold. Yeah, exactly. and, and he's a bit he's a bit yeah. upset that no one is doing that. <laughs> they will later, but yeah. I mean, this feels a little bit splashy, doesn't it? It does, but like we say, it's, it's you know, he can do, he can he can do whatever do he wants. He, yeah, yeah, he can he do whatever he wants. He can wants. do exactly whatever he wants. So <laughs> If he wants to go down to the local corner store and raise with the 8-3... Do that. Exactly. And Luke um, and his clubs aren't actually good here, so uh, I, I imagine, wow, so if we see clubs here, we'll expect some fireworks, but um, not too exciting. Dempsey flops the best hand, obviously not going to be in love with the deuce kicker. He'd be hard pressed to believe he's got the, the best hand five ways with, with the ace, but do you 
Do you lead at it to find out where you're at, or do you no. just check? I would 100% lead with Pescatori Sand here. Oh, with Pescatori Sand? Yeah, he's, oh, he's, a pre, he's a pre flop raiser here. He should always be betting this flop. Um, he probably gets Dempsey's to fold, ace two. And now, as we can see, Dempsey's more than happy to check back and just go for some um, pot control. I really don't like Pescatori's check here, but he hits the miracle turn, a three which will probably get um, some value out of um, Dempsey here with uh, with aces up. So uh, there is fifty thousand in this pot. It's if Dempsey's someone had another call, it's, uh, it, how good is he to to be able to fold an ace? But for some reason, Jennifer decides to bet here. I really don't like this bet because. Uh, because an ace probably isn't folding. Um, I mean, you might make two kings and two queens fold, but she's bet 40,000. She's put in almost 40% of her stack when she gets called. She's going to have two outs. And for Dempsey, when it's been a bet it's and call, what, easy can, what fold. can he be? Easy, easy fold for him. And he won't even, as we see, he's not even considering it. And he's actually going to feel very happy. With, oh, Tilly with needs that. a seven so bad. If she doesn't, she's do you crippled. feel she might barrel this on the river absolutely not she gives she shuts down absolutely this will 100 percent go check and she'll fold to uh, pescatori's bet if she shoves it i would be i would be t blown away check. i would which she's checked and pescatori how much does he bet here to be honest how much does he bet bets forty thousand, and obviously jennifer's gonna fold uh, um I'm, i must admit i'm we really didn't like Jennifer's uh, bet on the turn. What do you have, a busted flush draw? Well, I mean, if she talks herself into calling, that would be even worse. Yeah. Pescatori just isn't... He, he'll bet his flush draws on this flop when he's a pre-flop raiser, when an ace is there. He should bet all his flush... I mean, and he's not calling 40,000 on the turn on a paired board with a flush draw. This will be a horrible call. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure she's going to talk herself. She's going to make a good fold here. I mean, there is 170,000 out there. Is, is she getting tempted by the pot odds? Yeah, of course, of course. She's, I mean, getting over, she's getting it's, over it's, four to one, and she thinks, how can you have a three here, and how can you have an ace? You probably don't have ace queen. You probably don't. You might have ace king. Uh, um, she can't figure out what he's got. Um, I can assure you. But he, he just has to have it there. Well done. Good luck, good luck. Maybe another one of the things Tilly said, you know, if Pescatori, if he gets those chips, not so yeah, bad. That's another uh, uh, let, yeah. let him go. Yep. And now that he's got 413, people are just going to write his name in. Mm. as they're, they're happy to write his name in as the winner of the heat because it doesn't affect them. Yeah, exactly. We'll be back with more action from the Playboy Club London as the Party Poker Premier League Mixed Game Championship continues after the break. Welcome back to Premier League Poker Mixed Game Championship. I'm joined by Andrew Feldman, and it's all to play for in Group A. Let's get right back to the action. Have a look at the leaderboard. Pescatori on top, but Giannetti scaring everyone, although Tony G creeping up, and he knows he's going to have to take Giannetti down. Things not really going Schwartz's way so far, Andrew, but... Uh, it's well, not for lack of trying. He's been raising like every pot. <laughs> Why would you? I'm still in. Luke again is coming with another loose open with the uh, Jack Five of Hearts and Jennifer's called with eight Five of Clubs with her stack. I really don't do not like this play. Again, Luke's got his opponents in great shape. That I understand. So I'm not talking about that. It's not. The situation doesn't apply to if it was me and you had well. Jennifer flops a flush. Um, how does Luke play this? Oh, he's checked. Wow, what a turn card down. That's huge turn for, for, uh, for Tony. Um, I mean, Jennifer's probably going to value bet. Well, obviously, she's 
He's, she's com coming out leading. Uh, Tony just calls. And can we see Tony filling up on the river? If not, what does he do to uh, Bricks? I think he's gonna he's gonna pay her off. Jennifer's only got sixty thousand back, so it's oh my, this is insane! How Je it's happened again to Jennifer and the G make squads on the river. She is gonna be sick as a parrot when she sees this. <laughs> that is just incredible. She, I mean, we can. I, I've really got a feel for Jennifer there. You know, she makes an incredibly loose defend in the small blind, flops a flush and gets outdrawn to run a runner quads. That's just. Uh, I mean, that's that's very very bad luck. And now that leaves her on life support. She's got about 12 big blinds right now. What do you think, play? It couldn't be any think, worse what, what for Tilly. Play? She's made two club flushes. <laughs> Both of them got rivered. One time for a full. One time for four tens. Yeah. There's nothing she could do. That's just poker. It's amazing she still has chips left. This is going to be fun. There will be three players walking away from this table, not going to the final. And uh, losing don't come easy for these poker champions. At this stage, it looks like Tilly under the cosh and Schwartz in big trouble. Tony G and Gianetti look poised to tussle for that third spot. But uh, things can change, right? Yeah, of course. It's, we're, we're just in level two. Anything, still a lot of poker yeah. to see, so. Yeah. Max has limped into Schwartz's big blind, and he's decided just to knuckle it, so we're going to see a free flop here. Um, uh, Pescatori, as we've seen, he's been quite aggressive on the flops. Don't think Luke didn't see the way the deuce five went. Uh, this is very similar. And uh, I don't like, I mean, as we can see, Luke looked like he was going to raise. I'd much prefer to raise in the call, but obviously he has position. And do, do, do you think maybe he's turns. got right, he's got plans for the turn? Yeah, so. unfortunately, this turn probably is going to make Pescatori call because he's going to put Luke on, on a draw. <coughs> Um, and, and when Luke's betting this turn, he's he's committing to bet a lot of rivers as well, isn't Not he? necessarily. No, not necessarily. Once Pescatori calls, it looks like he's got a five or a four. And now Luke it will probably switch off unless he hits his, his hand. Or, um, he can't really rep anything. Um, I think Luke's pretty much done. I, I, an ace has changed nothing. Uh, and I imagine this is going to go check, check. Can, Pes can Luke get a big bet through? Uh, well, if... Wow, I didn't expect Luke. I really didn't expect Luke to bet this. I mean, Pescatori knows the ace has changed nothing. It's unlikely he's got a seven. He's not going to value better five. It just looks exactly like what it is. I, I, it's not really rep representing anything. There, there's a lot. There's been a lot of uh, stick between these two. Pescatori definitely would love to spite call if he yeah, could, but he also doesn't want to give Luke chips. He's he's between a rock and a hard place. I don't <laughs> think it matters too much for Pescatori though. I mean. Obviously, he doesn't want to lo lose a hand, but I think he's going to talk himself into calling. Really, yeah. What? what There's a lot of have? reasons to call here. But what? 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 what just ah, did he? Wow. He passed. That's a great bet by Luke. Then I really didn't think he would fold. I mean, why are you calling the turn to fold on that river? You know, not the ace has changed absolutely nothing. So, but well played to Luke. You know, <laughs> it showed a lot of heart to bet that river. I think he folded out of spite. These guys are going to have some fun. Yeah, well, I mean, as we can see, that's uh, Luke's uh, very happy with that, and um, he's still right in the thick of things right now. <laughs> Played 33 hands. Uh, ignore Pescatori at the top. We know he's going through right now. Janetti. Uh, and Tony G in the top two spots. Now remember, if Tony G were to finish second and Janetti were to finish third, um, the G makes it. Correct? The G makes it by one point. So it, that could certainly happen. Now, but if, but if Tony G were to finish first and Janetti were to finish second, he doesn't make it. Then he doesn't make it. So it's if 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 it were to come down to the final three between G, Pescatori, and Janetti. <laughs> The G cannot, the cannot knock Max Pescatori out. Max suddenly becomes his best friend. And I think Tony's telling Max that right now. Um, we finally <laughs> see Luke wake up with a premium hand here in a great spot. Um, 
Six and more and, the and he, with the two queens, he makes a pretty oh, small. Twenty thousand. But Tony just limped in with the two deuces. Yeah, right. but he, yeah, he's as we can see, Luke's thrown in the wrong chips. He meant to raise twenty thousand, so it's giving uh, the G and Pescatori great odds. Uh, Luke's out of position, but he has them both in great shape. So unless a deuce comes, um, Luke's probably gonna take this pot down. Tony G might call him one bet on this flop. He might call. Depends how much Luke bets. Yep, as we see, Tony G snap calls with the deuces. And um, Pescatori will fold to Queen 10. Now, how does Luke have to play turns, turns right now? What does he expect Tony to have limped in with? A 9 is certainly in his range, right? And a flush draw? Nah, he doesn't have a 9 here. He would definitely raise a flop with a 9. Uh, Luke knows, he knows exactly where he is in this hand. He probably puts him on a small pair. Uh, a king of spades and Luke's check. not in love with the king but this will probably go check check if Tony bets here um, and, and Luke's so idea for checking now is to get a, a value in on the yeah, river and he, he doesn't he doesn't love that and um, this probably goes check check as well the flush got there um, pairs small pairs don't call often enough on this river uh, but you could put a defensive bet out um, I just don't think it gets called often enough here by fours, five, sixes, a side. Doesn't get called often enough. I think Tony G's a good enough player to know Luke shouldn't be betting here. And it, and if Tony G does anything, he's probably more likely to raise here than call. But he's folding like 90, 95% of the time on that river. So I'd much rather have him, uh, Luke just check called the river. I think whether Tony called there or not was a would have been, is a sign for how his mood is. I, I remember when Roland DeWolf used to always get on Tony G for making bad calls, and he'd say, the wheels are off. <laughs> but they're not right now. No, no, he's, he's certainly in his own, <laughs> Tony. He's played very, very well. He hasn't put a foot wrong. Made a uh, solid fold there. And uh, he's, as we see, second in chips right now. So I've uh, been very impressed with Tony G so far. Uh, Tony G's his temper has flared a little bit so far tonight, what? but I think, and uh, most people who, who, who love to watch Tony G would agree that there when his go. temper flares, uh, he plays his best poker. Yeah. So I think we're all in, it's a very good sign that he's uh, mm. he's sort of emotionally involved and invested in this game. Are we doing too much advertisement too? No, they're <laughs> such millionaire companies. Giannetti with the suited ace and the cuts off, no. fairly started open. Jennifer obviously folds to 10-8. Tony G with a marginal decision here. He well, may well three bet, may well call, may even fold, but he just decides to peel. But he is going. He is going to shadow Giannetti, right? I mean, this is a yeah, relationship exactly. yeah. we're seeing again and again. Unfortunately, he's out of position this time. He has a marginal spot here. It's not a great hand. Um, and Giannetti outflops him. He'll probably check back this flop. Um, Check it back. Yeah, I would think he's going to check back. You don't really want to get check raised on this board. Yeah, your kick is no good, which he does. And you may get you may get Tony G to bluff. And there we go. Tony indeed hits a 10, which he's now betting for value. And so that's the advantage of check back in this flop. So you now get Tony G to bet with the worst hand, where, as we see, Giannetti is a 95% favorite. And Giannetti will definitely just call here. And he's, he's playing G like a fiddle. Yeah, I mean, well, it, obviously, this particular situation where Tony hits a 10, Tony doesn't have a clue what Giannetti he has, if he's on a draw, if he has an ace, if he has queen jack. So Tony will probably check. Um, and does Giannetti value bet? He has. He could. He can value bet. He can check back. You're pretty much value betting a 10, um, which is exactly what Tony G has. But you can't really bet more than 20, 25,000, which is exactly what he bets. A very good bet by Giannetti. Uh, but I think Tony G is going to sniff this for exactly what it is. But, you know, he's getting over 3 to 1. He just can't, can't really be anything, Tony G, can he? Just, he does make the call. Janetti has owned the jizzle, yeah. and the wheels are off. Yeah, he played. He that. really played that well. He did. He, he did. He I mean, just he just owned them. It's a pretty pretty stunning way to play the hand, and that's now unfortunately that's the only misstep that Tony G's made um, throughout the heat, and that's now put him down to 333,000. And Giannetti is now um, shot into second place, which, as we all know isn't the, where all the other th uh, players want him to be right now.
and you can see Tony's feeling it. Yeah, as we can see, Tony's not too happy with the way he played the hand. Um, but you know that's just the way it is. I'm sure he'll he'll get on with it and move on to the next hand. <laughs> You can pretend I drink my shot yeah, well and drink yours too. Yeah, that's drink probably what I'm going to do. Six, six pass. Six one and two pass. You know, Pescatori might end up might end up surviving this heat and might get all the chips for the final table, but they're, they're going to certainly make him pay for it. I mean, they're not going to give him an easy ride. Bring the Italian an umbrella. No, then I'll check right. Check. Uh, so Pescatori min raises with the queen out out of position, and Luke makes a fairly standard defend with the king jack, and it will probably be check check. check, check. Luke flops a pair yeah, and the nut straight draw. A small blind, big blind, right? Yeah, small blind, big blind. Luke doesn't hate that flop, and <laughs> wow, Pescatori's running pretty hot, and Luke makes two pair. Pescatori makes a straight. Um, well, what are Luke's options? He's definitely underrepresented his hand. Not necessarily. His hand kind of looks like what it is when he checks back. I mean, he has. I mean, he hasn't really done. Yeah, it's a pretty tricky spot for Luke. But if he's behind, he's obviously got four outs, and he's going to find out whether Pescatori has the queen if he bets it. Think about it. Think about it before you bet. I'm never going to call forty thousand, am I? Yeah. No, I would never call forty thousand. See, that's, ex that's exactly what Luke's saying. <laughs> if you bet ten thousand, would have been a much yeah. better bet. Luke, what if I don't have it? I don't think you've ever bet without it in your life. <laughs> that's, 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 that's why Luke calls the turn, just to see Pescatori's reaction. And, um, I don't think you've ever bet without it in your life. Um, yeah. Poor Max. But I bet you had it. Well, he's certainly not poor right now. He's a chip leader and he's um, just building up his out. points to go into the, the final table, as probably which will look like the favourite to be the yeah. chip leader. So, a bit of a frustrating spot for Luke, but he makes a good fall in the river. They've played two levels now, Andrew, and Giannetti's in pole position mm. uh, to, to be the third man at the final. Yeah, unfortunately for Jennifer, it looks like she's got a huge amount of work to come back, and um, Tony, uh, Tony G and Luke Schwartz really just have to hope that Giannetti starts to run bad, but right now it looks like the, the final three are pretty much set. We're back after the break with more from the Premier League Mixed Game Championship. Welcome back to Premier League Poker Mixed Game Championship. We still have six players in Group A fighting to make the final table. It's Matt Gianetti and Jennifer Tilly who are using their double-up cards for this one, which will prove vital in determining the league standings. The pressure's on as we head back to the table. Uh, Tilly now in the big blind, the short stack. James Dempsey will be quite happy to see her leave. Well, James Dempsey has raised, and one of the reasons I think he's raised here is because he wants to take Jennifer out. Um, he's gonna, and if he, he, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have much of a hand, but he feels the need to put pressure on. He don't like it anyway. No, I hate this race because she's gonna just jam here with so many hands. She has to with six big blinds. I mean, and he's getting nah. better than two to one. He pretty much has it's, to call. He has to call. Yeah, um, it's, it's horrible. It's on, a horrible spot. On, on the other hand, and uh, if he loses this. He's now down to two hundred thousand. Um, and he's and he's. But if, if I he, understand what I understand what he just wants to take her out to cement his place in the if final. He, if he wins this pot, um, if he wins this pot, then he's going to the final table. Yeah. And two, the Doyle Brunson. This is a double up. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Ace. Dumpster could be out first and sweating. Mm. I want to sweat. Ace, 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 Come on, y'all. Everybody, ace. Probably this put down through. Tilly's tournament is on the line right now. No, ace. Double up or out. Six cards. She's calling for the ace. She just needs to. She just needs to judge a ten or a two, and she's doubled up. It's anything but. Anything but, and she's in it. On that board, she's doubled up. Wow. No, no so you now James is a bit of concern right now. He's a second short stack and uh, Jennifer's got 
got about 15 big blinds, so... Yeah, it opens up the drama stakes again. Uh, Tilly off the floor. She deserved a little double up, didn't she? Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, if anyone's run, run bad, it's certainly been her. And she's waited for a spot. I hated her fold with the ace nine. She waited for the ace king. She got a double up, and good luck to her. <laughs> And amazingly, we've played nearly 50 hands, Andrew Feldman, and it's still completely up in the air. A smile from Dempsey, but he must be feeling the pressure. Yeah, I mean, he's run pretty bad, to be fair. He's, he hasn't had any easy spots. Um, and, yeah, he's going to have to be feeling the pressure right now. So we see Giannetti here with ace five in the cutoff. I would imagine him to come in with an open. 15,000. Six raised to fifteen thousand. Yes, and with Tony in the blinds, uh, I'd say a, uh, a, a chance or yeah, do you think Tony I mean, slow we, down? He, he needs to take Janetti on. I think Tony may well play the ten nine here, which he does. Six, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I can. Gene knows he has the, the problem. I think we're trying to to, to get Giannetti is that as we saw earlier, Giannetti plays so well that it's really tough to catch him. Oh wow, he plays well, but he does flop well, and Tony G flops his stone cold nuts, and he may well get some chips here from from Giannetti if he decides to to bet this draw. I think players tend to check here with Ace Five on these boards. It's just whether a four comes, which it does. So I can imagine Tony G doubling up, and this will be the delightful news for the rest of the table. That's the worst turn. I, I hate Tony G's check here. Because, you think he should be betting it? Oh, one million percent. I can't see how Giannetti can have too many fives in this range. He has to specifically have two fives or ace five here to check back the flop. So, she, um, so but now he, ha he, I mean, I know Tony G, he's always raising this, never calling out of position. Which I'm I'm extremely shocked about. Wow! Uh, I, I mean, I, I Tony must just think Janetti's bluffing. How is he going to get money out of this guy? Oh no! No, this is Tony he killed it. He dogged it. He killed it. That Tony's played this so bad. If he raises the turn, he gets all the chips. Why did Tony call the turn? Oh, just it's so horrible. This river card. G should really be doubling up here. Yeah, hundred percent. He hasn't played it fast enough. I understand Tony G's line thinking. He thinks Giannetti doesn't have a five. He's bluffing. I want him to bluff off his stack, but he just wouldn't bluff off here. If Giannetti had like Queen Jack, he's just gonna give up on the river. Um, once Tony G calls on that turn. So he must raise a turn out of position to build a pot and to maximize value. And now uh, also the fact there are so many scare cards on the river as we've just seen a five, a nine, a 10, a club, and Giannetti has to fold. Ouch! And he feels sick and he doesn't realize how lucky he is. Uh, that's, uh, why wouldn't Tony G check raise a turn or even lead? You can see how disgusted he is. He's not happy with that. And he's going to be absolutely sick as a parrot when, oh, he, when he sees what Giannetti's holding was. Chance. And he bet too much on the river. Like, it's, it's greedy. That's just too greedy. Players will not call there to, to, to win half the pot. To comment. Tony G's number one fan. So we see Giannetti's now down to. 288,000. It's it's slipped away, hasn't it? And it's Jennifer's away. probably going to pick up chips here. 16,000. <laughs> um, Jennifer has the ace queen. Um, and Pescatori calls in position with the twos, which I really don't like because Jennifer's so shallow. Um, I really don't like this call, to be honest. Yeah, it, it seems like Jennifer, Jennifer is going to be huge. Well, she has to bet all flops, doesn't she? But she, 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 her, her range is so uh, narrow here. Um, and, and now you just play guessing games with deuces on this flop. What does, does Jennifer go for it? Or do, I mean, doesn't she have to go for it? Mm. She, could she check raise? No she, 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 no, she doesn't have any fold equity. Oh, wow. She's just given up. Oh, I, oh wow. She going? Wow, no. Max, you're really annoying. You're starting to annoy me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, pocket sevens. Yeah, she's read him. Exactly that would be good. He went out. She's read him for exactly what he's got. Wow. Pocket bear. It's a good mm -hmm. fold by Jennifer. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I bet you've got pocket yeah. wins or better. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't like the Pescatori's call, cool, they're free flop. <laughs> but, you know, it worked, and then we can see Seven Jennifer's months. extremely frustrated. She's, she's really hung around here. She's got an incredible... Uh,
sense of where she's at. This is a trick I learned from David Williams. He says when you're short stack, you stack them really high. It's like a radio tower to poker god saying it'll it'll grow. With only 59,000, Jennifer Tilly needs to turn her toothpick into a forest. Max Pescatori, though, feeling the final table looming large. Can't say the same for G, Janetti, and Luke Schwartz. They need to finish strong. Next time, Group A's final league match concludes as our Premier League stars feel the pressure to keep in contention for the mixed game championship title. You're still bitching against me. I mean, are you stopping? No, but you, you can just stop it. You take it. Packy, you take it personally. You never want anything. It's starting. I can feel it. Just be quiet and say, every once in a while, just say, Tony G is my hero. Then you're going to look good. Tony G is my hero. I'm a poker fan. Yeah, we know you're a poker fan. You're not a poker player. Tell you know you have one thing that you're better than me? I tell the truth. You're taller. I think you're a donk. I just wanted to get out of here. <laughs> I was like, this is like my family.